Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Season 5. We are here for the ninth round of the season at Infineon. On the pole for the third time this season, Carter Kozlowski has just been just an amazing driver at qualifying this season. Uh, he hasn't been able to wrap up a win yet, but he's come close. And alongside him for this race is going to be Jack Richards in the 99. Starting third is Kenny Murray. Fourth is Phil Jones. And running out your top five is John Worry in the 39. Sixth place is Dylan Young. Seventh is Greg Jones. Eighth is Timmy Paccioli. Ninth is Charles Jackson. And rounding out the top ten is Kurt Kozlowski. And now here is the rest of the starting lineup for today's race. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 41st, and 42nd. Jacob Cook will start last. He's had a pretty rough season. And actually, that 41 car is going to be, uh, uh, this is going to be Jacob Cook's last race. Uh, or what could possibly be of his career. So as we come through the corner, Jack Richards and Carter Kozlowski will be on the front row with Carter Kozlowski on the pole. In that 30 Monster Energy Drink Chevy. Here we go. Coming down to take the green flag at Infineon. The second road course of the season. Round 9 is just about to get underway. Here we go. Green flag is out and we are racing at Infineon. Carter Kozlowski got a great start there. And, oh, Kenny Murray. He's one of the road ringers. Phil Jones peeks his nose in on Jack Richards, but he gives way. And now coming off of turn number two. Now into three. Up the hill, into turn number four, and down the straightaway that goes downhill into the fifth corner on this road course. And oh, Kenny Murray and Pacioli really hanging out there in the back. They really got sideways. And Carter Kozlowski is going to lead him through the S's. You need to make your car as straight as possible through these S's, and Kozlowski handled it pretty well, but he's way off course. Same with Jack Richards, and Phil Jones is going to charge as he almost got into the back there of Jack Richards. And oh, now Phil Jones gets way loose. Very hot, slick track today, and look at that. John Worry started sixth. He's already fought his way into the second position as Carter Kozlowski. You know, Ziggy Bain. Ziggy Bain has damage. The pace car is out. And Carter Kozlowski leads the race back to the line. And, oh, man, that got a little bit tight there. Something happened to Ziggy Bain. Oh, and it looks like he hit that tire barrier as we're looking at the replay here. I think uh, Joseph Bryan, his teammate, might have got into him here. Oh, I think he slid up into Gino Harvey. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. And, oh, he just got loose. And, oh, hard, vicious crash into that tire barrier. That lick is just incredible. All right, it looks like we are going to have pit stops here. As the cars, I think everybody is going to come down here onto pit road for the first pit stops of the day. Here on lap two. And if anybody stays out, I would be a little bit surprised. And indeed, everybody is coming into pit lane. It's Carter Kozlowski coming all the way down. Ziggy Bain has scored out of the race after taking that vicious crash into that tire barrier in the S's. And Carter Kozlowski in the Monster Energy Drink Chevy will come down and pull it into his pit box. And there they all are. Kozlowski's in. Richards almost missed his pit box. There's Kenny Murray. He's in. And, oh, John Worry. Worry's going to win the race off pit road. Carter Kozlowski taking tires. That's going to kill him. Wow, look at all these guys bypassing him on pit road. And now Kozlowski's getting gas in that number 30. And something is wrong with Carter Kozlowski. Never mind. And he just took out the official there. 
Wow, Carter Kozlowski, something happened to his race car, and that's just going to kill him on his shot at winning his first race here in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. And as we're coming through the S's, as we mentioned, Carter Kozlowski had a very bad pit stop, and I, Kenny Murray has some hood damage. Not sure why, but John Worry is going to restart on point here on this restart. Dylan Young is in second. Kurt Kozlowski third. Stephen Dylan, Hunter Stone. This is weird. Um, eh. Some of these guys are a little bit off on where they are supposed to actually restart, so we are actually... Just going to skip the order here as we're going to come down to the green. Actually, yeah, let's go over here. John Worry first, Dylan Young second, Kurt Kozlowski third, Stephen Dillon fourth, Hunter Stone fifth, Phil Jones in sixth, seventh, Pacioli eighth, Andrew Schwartz ninth, Zach Buchanan. Running out the top ten is John Dillon for this restart. And Jack Richards and Carter Kozlowski both had really bad pit stops. Carter Kozlowski is going to, well, he was scored first last time. Oh, yeah, we just had pit stops this on this lap. So that is why everybody is scored in different areas. So it looks like Kurt K or Carter Kozlowski is going to be restarting outside the top 10 indeed. And Jack Richards is going to be... Oh! Jack Richards has an issue and he is still on pit road. And wow, that is a big upset because Jack Richards started on the outside front row and he already has some troubles here at Infineon. That's going to kill him. And here we go. John Worry, Dylan Young, Kurt Kozlowski... The top three were getting set for the first restart of the day. Lap four of 17. Green flag is back out. We're racing again at Sonoma. Dylan Young wasted no time getting going on that restart, but he wasn't able to get the pass on John Worry. And up through turn two. Oh, Dylan Young tried to make the move, and Kurt Kozlowski hanging the back end out there, and he is going to fall back to fourth position but he's going to fight for it with Hunter Stone he's going to let Hunter go as he's not been able to regain that car after making that one mistake pretty much the rest of this lap is just going to be off for that 14 tough break for him and now into second is Steven Dillon Steven has just been incredible this season three wins and he's trying to get his fourth here today to be his first second place finish. And it seems like when Steven Dillon runs good, Carter Kozlowski isn't well. Oh no. Hunter Stone and Dylan Young. John Dillon comes in and we got trouble. Oh man. The leaders have just wrecked. Oh man, those leaders have just wrecked. John Dillon, Dylan Young, Hunter Stone are among them. And that leaves John Worry as the leader. That's just incredible. Dylan Young is on pit road. That car looks to be done for the day. Oh, Schwartz is in it. John Dylan, Hunter Stone, they have damage. Oh, just an unfortunate event here. No, Evan Earnhardt. Wow. What happened to them? That looked to be a vicious crash for that 28. As we're actually going to look at Dylan Young's crash first, it looks like. He just swung it just a bit high, and he came down into Hunter Stone. Came up into Hunter, I should say, and oh, what a lick. And then he just no control for that 15. And oh, Schwartz. Schwartz just took a vicious crash. As we're going to rewind this a bit. Oh, he went through the gr uh, sand up into the rumble strip, and that turned him around. And then John Dillon got into Buchanan, and that slammed that 12 car into that wall as well. And now the worst wreck of them all it happens right here. So, Evan Earnhardt in the 28 car. I have no clue what happened to him, but that looked to be just such a vicious crash. We're going to put this in real time. And this, this look just looked to be incredible. And, oh, wow. Oh, he got turned out. Over here, he got into Simpson, and they went all the way across, and oh my goodness, they picked up 20 miles an hour. That is a vicious wreck for those three race cars. That is incredible. Absolutely insane. Look at this. Look at the miles an hour up here. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. 
and they just, oh man, Evan Earnhardt went right through that tire barrier. Oh my gosh, that is a vicious wreck. I hope everybody's alright. That looked like it hurt very bad there for all those drivers involved. Wow, all three of those guys. And oh, what a tough break to end his career. What it looks like Jacob Cook, the, uh, his career might be over after this race unless he's able to get another ride eventually. But this is his last race of season five, and that's just such a tough break for that number 41, 09, and 28. As we're getting back here with the restart, with uh, John Worry on point in that 39, Stephen Dillon, Timmy Pacioli, Kurt Keselowski, and Greg Jones. Rounds out your top five with Seth Cole in sixth, DJ Sorensen seventh, Phil Jones eighth, Chris Summers ninth, and uh, in tenth position, Zach Buchanan, the Las Vegas winner. So John Worry has not won a race this season. Stephen Dillon won Daytona, Cam Valley, and Kentucky. Pacioli has not won this season. Kurt Kozlowski has not won this season, and Greg Jones has not won yet this year either. So if Stephen Dillon doesn't go to victory lane, it looks to be a new winner this season. Buchanan is the next closest driver that has won a race this season. And Stephen, oh, I thought he was actually going to get spun out there by Pacioli. Pacioli was not giving him much room there. So we're going to restart with 11 laps remaining here at Infineon. John Worry. The leader as they come off the final corner. This little kink. Coming down to the green flag. John Worry leads green flag back in the air. Off into the first corner here. Through one and up the hill into turn number two. Stephen Dillon didn't get a good restart, but he didn't get a bad one either. And Seth Cole really hanging it out further back. And now he got a double wide battle here for third. Pacioli gets clear. Kurt might fight back, and indeed he will. Whoa, he almost got into Pacioli when they came off that corner. Kurt gets the advantage, and he's trying to get around that 22. I'm telling you, Kurt is a very good road racer. We haven't had many road courses in the series, but he's definitely showing it today here at Infineon. And, oh, Pacioli trying to fight back, and around goes Pacioli and Kurt Kozlowski. The battle for third gone wrong, and now he's spinning back up the track. And amazing, oh, Corey Williams and Joseph Bryan also get involved. John Dillon, oh, man, Henley looks like he got some damage. Dion Petty, I believe, got some as we got a big sandstorm. Oh, Phil Jones has some damage. Oh, my goodness. No, we cannot see right now. Oh, my gosh. That was an incredible wreck as the battle for third Ended up costing Kurt Kozlowski and Timmy Pacioli a good finish. Wow, they took some really hard hits into that tire barrier. And we're getting a replay of that right now. Now right here, this is where I thought that there might be some trouble. But then they ended up keeping it clear for the moment. But when they came down here, Pacioli just drove up into Kurt. And that is... Oh! That is just incredible, the impact that he took. And then Kurt spins back up into traffic. Everybody just barely misses him. And then right about now is where it gets bad with Corey Williams hitting him. Oh, Garrett Jones just kind of lost control trying to check up and get around this. And, oh, Julian Ortiz did, it a, just did a great job getting through that. But unfortunately, oh, oh Danny Wells, nowhere to go. So we got trouble for the third time today. And then, oh yeah, Phil Jones had damage. That was just from that crash. And those guys going through the sand trying to avoid further carnage. Wow, Jacob Lawler. He's worked his way up through there. The two monster cars. Carter Kozlowski starting to come back up through the field after a bad pit stop early. So let's go back to the green flag where our leader will be John Worry. Wow, we have just had pit stops as the lights on the pace car are still on, but Carter Kozlowski stayed out. Same with Henley and Filter, Simpson, Wells, Kenny Murray, Brian LaFleur Jr., John Worry, and Stephen Dillon. So the first, I believe, er, uh, about five, six cars, actually seven, seven cars stayed out under that caution. So this should be interesting on the restart. Card Ken Carter Kozlowski win this race here at Sonoma.
All right, we're going to go back green this time around. We got 31 cars left in this race with Carter Kozlowski the leader, Sean Henley second, Alex Filter third, Courtney Simpson fourth, Danny Wells fifth, Kenny Murray sixth, Ryan LaFleur Jr. seventh, John Worry eighth, Stephen Dillon ninth, and DJ Sorensen rounds out the top ten for this restart. And this is going to just get intense because we got, like we mentioned, 31 cars still in this race. With John Dillon, the last of them, he's been in trouble today. Uh, Joseph Bryant, Dion Petty, Garrett Jones, they've all had some trouble. Hunter Stone as well. But Carter Kozlowski, the pole sitter for both road course races so far this year. And we're getting set for a great dash to the finish with eight laps remaining. Here we go. The pace car is going to dive in and we're going to roll through turn 11 as Carter Kozlowski is going to try to win the race. Here in the late stages of this race. And here we go. Yeah, seems like that second place car really slides up and third place almost gets into him all the way here on the pace lap off that corner. But here we go. Coming down to take the green flag. Carter Kozlowski, Sean Henley, Alex Filter, Courtney Simpson, Danny Wells, the top five. Coming down the green flag. Waves were racing again at Infineon. Henley wastes no time. Getting going, but he's not going to be able to get the run that he needed on Carter Kozlowski. Kozlowski leads up through turn one and up the hill into two. Uh-oh, John Worry being aggressive on this restart. Oh, it might cost him, and around goes James, and he saves it. Don't know if he's going to be able to keep it like that much longer, though. Oh, the hood is crunched in. That just killed that number 66, and I was trying to get out of the way. And oh, around goes Summers! I believe that was Chris Summers that just spun around, and no, it was not. Somebody just spun out, and now Henley's going to take the lead from Carter Kozlowski. Uh oh, oh man, that could, oh, no, around goes Filter. Carter Kozlowski drifts up in front of Henley. They're switching lanes. This is going to, oh, man. That was almost very bad. Oh, oh, Henley's trying to fight back. Henley's going to have the preferred line. Off into the next corner and further back. I believe I just saw it. No, Seth Cole, he ended up saving it, but he just swung it off into the sand. Kozlowski lost the lead on the restart, and that's going to kill him. And, oh, he tried to get inside Henley and beat him back to the line, but it's just not going to happen. Chris Summers has damage. Oh, I think Matthew McMurray was the car that spun around that we thought was Chris Summers there. And, indeed, it was. Here is, here's Matthew McMurray. Yeah, we saw Chris Summers right in that general area, so that's what we thought happened. And Jacob Lawler just got into Matthew, and, oh, that's going to be a big hit. Not, no, I guess it's not going to be too bad, but, oh, man, that's actually going to be a big impact. He was uh, running pretty slow at the time, but still, it's definitely not a hit that you want to take. But then, yeah, look at this battle between Courtney Simpson and Alex Filter. That got really intense. Same with Carter Kozlowski and Sean Henley. I thought they were going to wreck. Yeah, there's Filter and Simpson. They make the contact. And this is just going to be a wild hit here for Filter. Oh, hard, vicious crash. Okay, now what happened that caused the really big part of this crash? I'm just trying to figure that out right now. Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, man, Greg Jones got into Mitch Speed, and those cars just shot off into that barrier. That's just, oh, man, that is a huge wreck. Helicopter. Man, Summer's got a lot of damage in that. Seth Cole is kind of swerving all over the place trying to avoid the debris and the wrecks. That, that wreck was just crazy how many cars have been just destroyed here at Infineon. All right, we are going to go back green with five laps remaining from Sonoma, California. Henley on point, Carter Kozlowski, John Worry, Courtney Simpson, and Stephen Dillon. The top five, and then sixth place is DJ Sorensen, seventh, Jacob Lawler, eighth, Brian LaFleur Jr., ninth, Seth Cole, and rounding out your top ten is Sean Galligan. <laughs> and look at Henley, that front, the hood of that race car is beat up. But it looks like he's going to try to win this race here for the number three team. He hasn't won since Trenton in round four of last season. If he could win this race today, that would be a big, 
uh, big moment for that number three. And the pace car makes the hard left turn to pit road. Sean Henley hopes to bring home the first win for that number three. The number three has no win. Same with the number 30 and the 39. The seven has had a win before, I believe. Actually, I don't think so. But anyways, coming down to take the green flag, Sean Henley, Carter Kozlowski, John Worry, Courtney Simpson, Stephen Dillon, the top five. Green flag is out. Five laps remain at the road course in Sonoma, California. Oh, Kozlowski didn't get going. And he's still all over the back bumper of Henley. Henley slides up, gets loose. And now Worry's going to look low on Carter Kozlowski. He's going to swing it high, and Kozlowski has to give way, and he's way out of the groove. And now into second place goes John Worry. Third is now Simpson. Fourth is Steven Dillon, and Carter Kozlowski is going to fade all the way back to the fifth position. But I don't think he's done as his teammate Jacob Lawler comes in. He's going to pass him. Oh, he swung it up through there and almost spun Lawler around. I really hope we're done wrecking. But if we do wreck, I think we're probably going to take this race to the checkered flag. And here comes John Worry. The damage on Henley's car is starting to hurt him. And oh, Simpson! Oh, wow. That oh, and we got pit stops. Pit stops will be happening here as Courtney Simpson and Sean Henley are taking their cars down through pit lane. And all the way down to 25 miles an hour. There's Carter Kozlowski. He uh, got a pretty bad restart. He's going to try to uh, get a good pit stop and gain some ground on the leaders. And, oh, wow, a lot of cars. Oh, oh man, Stephen Dillon. That car just got away from him there, and he almost wrecked it. Yeah, there's Justin Perry, Kyle Smith, Sean Henley, Garrett Jones, Courtney Simpson, Kenny Murray, Zach Buchanan, Carter Kozlowski. Oh, no, Hunter Stone has hit hard, but we do not have a caution flag out. That looks like it was a really bad hit for Hunter. I'm really surprised that we're staying green. And there's Carter. He pulls out of the pits after restarting on point two restarts ago. And he's just kind of faded since. And now Garrett Jones, a good friend of his, is going to get around him. That must have been a good pit stop for Garrett or a really bad one for Carter Kozlowski. Maybe one of each. This is another good friend of Carter's. Kyle Smith is right there. Trying to get around him, and he will, he will take that spot away from the 30. And Justin Perry, I don't know what happened to Kenny Murray, but that car is still stalled on pit road. Now I'm just trying to figure out who the leader is. I believe it's Brian. No, no, never mind. The leader was Stephen Dillon. No, DJ, no. Okay, John Worry was the leader as they came down onto pit road here. But now, oh, Matthew McMurray is going to still risk this race as we have three laps remaining. Will the strategy play out for Matthew McMurray? Can Matthew win this race? I think he's the only car still on the track. I think all these other guys have taken pit stops that or they are in the pits right now. Yep, that looks to be the case. So, will the strategy play out for Matthew McMurray the way he wants it to? Or will it just kill that number 18? If he runs it out of gas, obviously that's going to be trouble for him. But if he can somehow work this race out and win it, that would be a big upset. And it would be a second win of the season if he won round two at Boston. Oh, he slides up off into the sand. But he keeps his foot in it, and it looks like he is still good to go. Now, will he take a pit stop this time? He will. So, the 18 is committed to pit road, and now that turns the lead back over to, I believe, John Worry. Now, where is John? There he is. So, I don't know how accurate scoring has this race right now. Because I think, I think Simpson might be leading this race. I think this might be the battle for the win. Three laps to go as we're coming around to take two. Oh, Buchanan and Simpson got very close to making contact and wrecking right there. And now we're going to wait on scoring here to see 
just how this race is going to play out. Oh, Matthew McMurray coming down. Yeah, indeed. This is the battle for the win. Buchanan and Courtney Simpson fight it out to the checkered flag here as we got DJ Sorensen in third, Kyle Smith fourth, Gino Harvey fifth. Oh, wait. No, I'm off a little bit, I believe. No, never mind. I don't think so. Oh, Matthew McMurray. He was still on pit road, so yeah. Uh, yeah, sixth place, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth right now. Carter Kozlowski, the last car in the top ten. Steven, ninth after having a great car all day. Looks like his results aren't going to show it as w as much as we thought. I mean, a, still a top ten is still solid, but I was just expecting to maybe have a win on that car. And I think the caution is out. Or, uh, I guess not. Yeah, indeed it is. This is going to be a, the ending caution. The race is going to be declared over. And I don't know why, but we, we have a caution on the speedway. All right. So the pace car is out Buchanan. All he has to do is ease it through turn, to le turn 11 here. And it will. Zach Buchanan is going to come down and take the second win this season. Third of his career. Buchanan, the winner at Infineon. Congratulations, Zach Buchanan, on his second win of the season. I really have no clue what happened to bring out the ending caution of this race. As here is Matthew McMurray. This was the race ending caution, and he, oh, wow, that's just careless driving right there. I don't know what he was thinking, but he pulled off pit road and just slammed into Jacob Lawler, and that's just a tough impact for both those drivers. That was an un unnecessary uh, way to end the race, but unfortunately it was a pretty hard wreck for both those drivers. And fortunately for Buchanan, that's going to win the win him this race. In the late stages of this race, the caution has come out, and no doubt we will not go back to the green flag. And as we're coming down to take the checkered flag, right here, lap 17 of 17, the leader is Buchanan, second is Simpson, third DJ Sorensen, fourth Kyle Smith, and fifth place will be Gino Harvey with Garrett Jones sitting in the sixth position as we come down to take the checkered flag. The winner at Infineon is going to be Zach Buchanan. He takes the checkered at the second road course of the season. As we watch the cars roll by and take the checkered flag, a few of these last drivers coming across. There's Lawler, McMurray. Brian LaFleur Jr., Dion Petty, and so on. So let's look at the finishing results for today's race. And there they are. Okay, so Zach Buchanan, the winner. We already went through the top five. Then Garrett Jones, Connor Breeton, CJ Sorensen, Sean Galligan, and Stephen Dillon, the top ten. Carter Kozlowski in 11th. Worry 12th. Seth Cole 13th. 14th is Danny Wells, and 15th is John Dillon. There's first through 28th. And... Uh, 15th on through 42nd position. So, a few cars that will be open at the conclusion of this race, as we mentioned. Um, drivers that are going to be out of this series will include, uh, where is he, Jacob Cook. Jacob Cook there in the 41. This is his last race of season 5, so if you want that car, you can let me know that you want that car, first driver, to uh, tell me. So get that race car. And uh, Charles Jackson in the 09 is also a driver that hasn't been following too well. So he's also going to be out. So the 09 and 41 are open. So congratulations to the winner today at Infineon, Zach Buchanan. So here's the celebration screen for the two-time winner of the season and season four's Daytona 500 winner. <laughs> 